Working. Dialogue. Consumers of tomorrow will shop through multiple channels of retail. Exhibition. All this and much more took place at the fourth edition of the Indian Retail and E-Retail Congress. It's an omni-channel strategy. It's O to O, offline to online, online to offline, and everything in between. The who's who of the retail world international brands and the new kids on the block came together to analyze the fast changing retail landscape of the Indian market. What we are facing currently is what I call a short term threat but in the long term I think there is a huge opportunity that exists in the marketplace and when I say huge I mean mammoth. It's an absolutely new channel that has opened up which is e-retail, m-retail uh, and so on which will, will probably change the whole way we think of retailing but yes we have to keep up with that change. India has pulled and attracted a lot of interest not only of the domestic retailers but also from, from the international players and different ways and means have evolved to reach to the consumer. My belief is if you're going to be successful in India you can be successful anywhere. India is a very, very tough market. The two day Congress had a power packed lineup of sessions and an awards ceremony that felicitated achievers in the retail space. Thank you for being with us here today to celebrate the excellence in this industry on behalf of Franchise India. We talk about issues in the industry, which means uh, what are the challenges we are facing, and then we we talk about a lot of things which are capital and issues of entire thing where 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 the growth is going to come from. So we always would like to package the opportunities in that manner. Uh, in times to come, I think this show would, would multiply. Uh, you will certainly see a 100% growth next year when people return for this show. The event kicked off with a session that aimed to understand the new consumer-led market and buying behaviors. If I have to use one word or one uh, expression for the customer, I would never use a he, I would use a she. In most categories that matter, uh, men are service providers. For 15 years plus, Indian families have seen consistent income increase. If you are honest to ourselves, as consumers, we do not actually know, we do not have any recent memory of what we grew up with, the notion of a rainy day. It's a very unique situation. If you live with this for a long period of time, it increases, it increases customer behavior almost every year. When we look at 90s, I personally felt Indian customers were much shy as compared to their uh, Western counterparts. But a tremendous change has happened. The customer is more empowered, more informed, thanks to the, uh, the internet uh, boom which has happened in the last uh, one decade. You remember how uh, Damodar said that the, in the same catchment area in six years, the income has doubled. It's true for every catchment area. It's not Saket and Bandra that we are talking about. It's everywhere in the country. And that consumer does not have uh, reach to a lot of products. And that's where I think e-telling has an opportunity. In 2013, for example, I used to be completely, my business used to be completely dependent on, you know, modern trade and, and uh, you know, mom and pop stores. And since licensing business is still slightly niche in India and nascent stages, I used to be available in about 25, 30 towns. Today, because what e-commerce has done to retail, uh, I am now selling 32 inch figurines of Batman in cities like Gorakhpur, for example. Another invigorating session delved into the minds of the new age shopper and the promise India's youth bulge held for brands. You know, 
there is no more mass markets, you know, even if it's an offline or if it's an online, there are niche of segments. So within segments, there are micro segments. Within target groups, there are micro targets. So that has something which has changed or has evolved, uh, you know, recently or, you know, has been evolving every day. There's more, more than two billion millennials globally. They are the most inclusive people. They're very group and friend oriented. It's important that the brand communicates directly to them, to what Abhishek was saying earlier. It's about me. You're talking to me, you're not talking to a group of people while I'm part of a group. And uh, it's meaning over money. How are you going to talk to people like this? You can't talk to them in a, you know, I will tell you how to shop on my website or how I will tell you how to interact with my products in my store. They will do it the way they want to do it. If you compare, the, again, the physical world and the, and the virtual world, virtual shopping is all image-based. And research shows that image-based shopping is much more stressful. With digital revolution taking over traditional retail, the next set of panelists discuss new business models and ideas for the changing scenario. Here at Future Group uh, and at Big Bazaar uh, definitely do believe that consumers of tomorrow will shop through multiple channels of retail. So I think there will be times when they will come to the physical store for certain products, certain categories uh, or for different needs and uh, there will be times when they'll go to the mobile, to the web or any other new digital ecosystem or channel that emerges tomorrow. You know, I think it's a natural progression. You know, as a retailer, uh, we are a products and goods company and wherever consumers are, we'll have to service them through that channel. We're getting accustomed to buying a lot of products online. But I think the next stage, and Alok, you were probably one of the forerunners to see service businesses going online. One very basic thing uh, that never existed in insurance sector in India was no one believed that customers would want to buy an insurance product on their own. There was always a belief that customers will need to be a little bit pushed or nursed for a closure. Now that's a very, very fundamental thing that we are trying to change. So we are trying to move focus from how to distribute a product to maybe what exactly the customer need and how do we play a part in fulfilling that need. I'll come to Raghu. Raghu runs, uh, Raghu is the founder of Taxi for sure. Where was the disruption you saw that, you know, that could become a business model by itself? We saw a lot of uh, unused inventory on the roads, right? And there were customers who were uh, waiting for taxis and there were a lot of uh, taxis on the road who we were waiting for customers. Just because there was a call center which had become the bottleneck, they were not able to get in touch with each other. That's when we thought that if we can essentially get all these people onto the platform, right, all the cabs on the single platform and provide an access for customers to reach out to all the cabs in the city through a single channel, then there is a high probability of finding a cab with us. That's how uh, the idea of Taxi for sure was born. I think, uh, uh, technology played a significant role. I think uh, that was the time when uh, uh, geolocation sensor started uh, getting ingrained into the, become a common feature in almost all the smartphones. Because of which uh, tracking a taxi became uh, significantly uh, easier and a lot more cheaper. And figuring out the location of the customer also became a lot more cheaper. If the geolocation sensor wouldn't have been part of the smartphone, I don't think so our business existed. <laughs> With omni-channel becoming the new buzzword, the next session had panelists trying to list ways brick and mortar could transform and join the bandwagon. Typical today omni-channel is that, okay, get your products online, put offers online and that's about it. But we completely disagree with that. Because as a consumer, when you walk into the store, the first thing you ask is Mea kya hai, right? What are the new things in your store? And that information today doesn't exist. And that's what Nowforce wants to create. We want to really simplify the content creation for an SMB. So today on our platform, people update the site three times in a month. These sellers that are coming online, that are going all across all the e-tailers, how verifiable are they? Because their reputation is impacting the big e-tailers as well. Right from your online store, to your CRM, to your loyalty, for B2B businesses to engage with your suppliers through an extranet. So all of these different facets allow a business to plug and play with their existing infrastructure. So you're not ripping and replacing what you have, but you are adding value on top to ensure that you are scaling your business and scaling your strategy to connect with consumers across different touch points. 
Yes. And online, I'm buying actually, no one is selling it to me. So I think if that engagement towards selling starts from an online perspective that really engages the customer, gets into his emotional quotient as well, not just analytics and data, but beyond that, I would love if that starts happening. Retailing is becoming organized. It is a large unorganized market is becoming organized and the organized is getting specialized and the specialized is getting personalized. Whichever phase of the growth, evolution, the category is, there is a market available for that. Innovations in marketing, innovations in payment gateways, innovations on logistics side, right? Uh, and that's what e-tailing is all about, right? So a lot of money is coming into it, right? People are, are uh, in, driving innovative stuff, building innovative technologies, and that's what is helping us, a business like us. In the buying behavior, I think uh, if you have to have apps that are going to be mobile friendly, because people are going to access internet through mobile, given the infrastructure of our company. And if you're mobile friendly as a platform, if you're mobile friendly as a brand, as your website, etc., I think you'll drive more business. Retail in India in the last uh, decade or so has been the fastest evolving market. Uh, I think there's a huge growing consumerism in India because of uh, us being one of the youngest nations in the world. And uh, obviously there is an infiltration of a lot of foreign brands into our country. Uh, because it is the largest independent consumer market in the world. On the other side of the break, catch all the action from Indian Retail Awards 2015. about 30-35 million users on e-retail today, going up to about 100 million users. So I think India is ready. Uh, I think India is at the, at the cusps of uh, you know, a space where I think it will propel a lot more from now. But I think it will be interesting in terms of what new models develop around e-retail, uh, you know, what are the new engagement forms. There are a few customers who engage with technology, right? And you figure out in technology, what are the different aspects that they're engaging with. That's when we figure out that the engagement is a lot more higher in social media. Right? Then can we use that as a channel to provide taxes? That's how the thought process was. The penetration of smartphone is not more than 30%. So there is a huge chunk to come. And with the manufacturers making the phone smarter, uh, you will be able to do everything from your mobile phone in the coming years. It was a full house for the next session at the Indian Retail and E-Retail Congress 2015 that discussed ways to leverage online marketplaces for business growth. I wanted to just give a perspective on where is online heading, what, is, uh, what are the marketplaces looking like, where is the opportunity. Uh, so that uh, we can focus on the right things and see how can we all build the uh, retail business in a, a much more aggressive fashion than what you have been probably doing so far. You're looking at the number of online shoppers uh, who are transacting on mobile. It's actually uh, e equal right now in terms of, uh, you see the left graph, it's a, it's a little bit bigger than the desktop customer base and that's only going to go and explode over the next few years. As customers are now used to and would like to uh, get things, you know, right now, right there, as they are actually working on the mobile phone. So, as retailers, I think it's important to look at what is it that we need to do if you actually want to uh, sell on a mobile phone. The way they interact on the on the app is very different from the way they interact on a desktop. I mean, you're not you're in a desktop. You'll probably go and you know search on top. You'll move your mouse. You'll click here and there. Here, it's very very different. People like swipe, they check out a lot more products, they'll look at the photograph, they don't read as much, they'll pinch, they'll zoom in. What really happens with data is actually you get to uh, learn a lot more about your own brand, about your own customers and about their own experience that you can actually work on improving the trust with customers a lot more. If I have the reach and if I have the footfall and uh, you know, if I'm trying to build a brand in the country, how do I, uh, you know, if, if, if I can do it with lower distribution costs or even use my existing channels and then 
uh, serve my customers better then i think it's a matter of taking the bold step and finally it was time to understand what investors are excited about in retail today you know the one thing from my perspective is uh, the e-commerce large companies the flipkarts the snap deals i think they've done a great service they have actually unleashed the entire uh, leverage of internet and for our country which is so large i think it's a huge huge uh, opening that has been made into the ecosystem brands have really never existed in india in any major way and i think a lot of the reason for that is just because it's difficult to leverage offline retail in a in any massive way and with technology and because of the penetration of flipkart and 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 other large uh marketplaces and inventory led models you you have people already connected and if you have people already connected and you can leverage that to sell your brand um in specific in specific uh verticals i think that those are huge businesses let's look at example uh, the reality today the whole day we do using mobile we do e-commerce using m commerce but by the time we are back home what we are doing we are picking up a car or asking a ramu or someone the local guy just go and do some neighborhood commerce for us so the neighborhood commerce which is offline we are calling our brick and mortar what they are missing with the with the e-commerce is the digital infrastructure if they are empowered with this digital infrastructure what we are calling as the tool or the the technology around that and innovation i think they will be competing at par with the e-commerce people or may, maybe they will collaborate with them in retail you know there's always been this paradigm of location 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 and the challenge is that you know this is the location now right so if you're starting out with a mental model of saying i need to pick the right catchment area i need to be in the right mall i need to optimize around footfall that's a very different starting point from saying i want to deliver a really engaging buying experience on a device that can happen seamlessly in 5 minutes some of the panel discussion which had happened here it was really uh, you know giving a uh, new innovations some of them has talked about they really didn't know that um, how come uh, um, the experience of the customer is going to change but today uh, based on the experience from the customer the feedbacks which are coming in yes uh, today it's not only the real uh, retail stores but the e-commerce is also coming up in a big way the two day event culminated with an evening of glitz and glamour oh pass me a brand ki dukan that celebrated and awarded the best in the business of retail it's a moment of great delight and pride as we extend a very very warm welcome to each one of you to the fourth annual edition of the indian retail and e retail awards 2015 so it's time for us to begin with the very first category for this evening it is for the outstanding contribution to e retailing award please put your hands together for mr kunal behel and mr rohit bansal founder snapdeals.com thank you so much and a hearty congratulations all right moving on to the next award retailer of the year please put your hands together for dlf brand time to give away the award for best in retail in automotive segment the award goes to mahindra first choice wheels limited our next award is for the beauty salon and spa of the year the award goes to groom india salon and spa private limited together let's build a beautiful india congratulations groom india Next award is for the best new retail launch of the year. And the award goes to Burger King India. Great food comes first. Moving on to the next category, the best loyalty solution provider. Please put your hands together for Payback India. 
Payback is India's largest loyalty program. It presents many advantages over traditional standalone customer loyalty screams. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause. Payback India. All right, moving on to our next award, which is implementation of single platform ERP across entire enterprise. The award goes to Genesis Colors Private Limited. Genesis Group brings an eclectic mix of splendid designer labels from India and across the globe, ensuring that our customers are spoiled for choice. Congratulations. The best shopping mall of the year, West. Please put your hands together for In Orbit Malls, pioneered mall culture in India. It's time for us to welcome on stage the best licensor of the year, Entertainment. Please put your hands together for Cartoon Network, my favorite. <laughs> Let's have a big round of applause for that, please. Home and Lifestyle E-Retailer of the Year. And the award goes to Snapdeal.com. Started in 2010, Snapdeal.com is the largest online marketplace in India, offering over 4 million products across 500 plus categories, delivering to 5,000 plus towns and cities in India. Moving on to our next category, which is E-Retailer of the Year. Please put your hands together for Amazon.in. May I request all of you in the retail category and e-retailer category to please join us on the stage. People want to be recognized between their peers. Uh, that gives them potential them to go and work even harder to get and retain that position for the entire thing. A lot of awards are for a lot of new companies, new ideas, uh, creative functioning, teamwork, uh, great marketing idea and so on and so forth. So very credible companies you will find uh, and their teams get recognized on that. Thank you.